Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. Thanks for sharing a bit of your day with me. And today I just want to go over my newest uh, wreath that I ordered because it's just so cute. I've got to share it and 10 items that I got at Walmart for about $61. So stay tuned and we'll show you all the goodies. Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that uh, you're all having a great weekend and I am so glad that you had time to stop in and visit for a little bit. If, to my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you are new to my channel, I hope that you hit that little uh, red subscribe button way over there. And I hope that uh, you give this video a thumbs up and I would love to see you all come back and visit again. So first, I just want to show you my latest wreath. It's going to be a little too big to get in here. It's We're All go we're all Mad here from Alice in Wonderland. So we've got the uh, Mad Hatter, we've got a clock, we've got all these ribbons here, and it's just uh, so beautiful. I couldn't wait to get this on my door, and now it's just so pretty. I don't want to put it on the outside door. I'm afraid someone's going to come up and steal it on me. So anyway, right now I've just got it hanging around in the house. I might end up taking it to work and uh, putting it on my office door. So Anyway, just wanted to share that with you, and that's from Southern Sass Reads, and she's got a Facebook channel. I think she was going to start an Etsy store, but I'm not sure she did that yet, but she is on Facebook, and uh, like on Wednesdays and Sundays, she posts a couple of the reads she's done during the week, and the first one to say sold gets it. This one, she only had one, and I had put in a request if she ever got the supplies to, uh, if she could make me another one. So she found some additional things that she didn't have on the original, so I was happy when she emailed me back and said, hey, if you're still interested, I found some more stuff to make it. So very, very cool. So anyway, I did some online shopping and just some regular shopping at Wally World, at Walmart, and got some great bargains. Um, most of the tops I got were $5. I got a couple of pairs of pajamas for the summer. They were $5. I got a pair of camo jeans for $16.94 because the ones that I got last year and loved so much and couldn't wait to wear them, they don't fit me anymore. So I had to get a few new things and just uh, looking forward to show them to you. You know, and years ago, I always shopped at Walmart and there just seemed to be a stigma about Walmart. The clothes, you know, maybe after a couple of washings, they, that's all you got out of them, but they really seem to have improved their quality. They're getting more name brands, uh, plus their own brands that they're, they're getting, like the Time and True, just really nice pieces, some nice ways to add to your wardrobe that doesn't break the bank. So anyway, this first pair of pajamas that I got, it's uh, that animal print that I love, $5. It's a nice soft material. Don't know how it's gonna be when we're in the real heat of summer, but for now, it's a perfect weight. Just loving this, so soft. And I got two new pairs of pajamas too, two other pairs. These were both, um, they have the original tags on them from Gloria Vanderbilt for $5. They're original, the tags are still there. You can see it for $48, so for $5. And these again, they're a heavier heavier knit, so they're probably more for the on the winter line. This is a really nice shade of purple and some pink and some gray with some flowers. So for now, it's the perfect weight for me. If I wanted to wear them into winter, I could always just add a pair of uh, some black stretch pants and there you go, I'm good for winter and I'm good for this time of year as well. And for $5 each for a $48 pair of pajamas, I don't know how you can go wrong with that. And these are the Jordache camo jeans that I got. And uh, they're soft, they're mid-rise, would have been nicer if they were high-rise, but I will take them. They were $16.94, so I am hoping that they fit. So looking forward to trying those on. And then um, Tiffany from Tiffy Sue Loves Fashion. She got these uh, cutest pair of capris. And Nancy doesn't wear capris or crop pants, but they were just so darn cute on her. I just had to get them, so they got love down the side. 
nice soft stretchy material so I can't wait to try these on and if they look half as cute as on me as they looked on her because they, they just looked flipping adorable on her so if you haven't caught Chiffy Sue Loves Fashion you should check her out she does uh, clothing hauls and uh, from like Stitch Fix and uh, Mix and Match and she does Walmart and Target haul so she's always got some really cute items to show so crossing my fingers that they look half as cute as me on me as they did on Tiffany um, just got a, a basic tee, a rib tee. Again, I wasn't really sure on the sizes on these, so I'm hoping that this fits. And this was like $2.98, so can't go wrong with that, even if you never wear it out of the house. And all these tops were $5, so. And some of them are no boundaries. Um, some of the other brands, there's a Time and True in here. Uh, right, which I never heard of, but something that they had. But anyway, five dollars each. So anyway, this one's just a basic white tank because you can't go wrong with that. It does feel like a heavier material, so ho hopefully it's not anything that's see-through. Because sometimes in the heat of summer, sometimes you don't mind wearing a camisole, but sometimes it's just too too hot if you're outside. I got this green tank, hoping that maybe that goes with the uh, camo jeans. Another green one. And this I thought was interesting because it's got this little slit in the back there. So hoping it doesn't go up too high right there. And again, hoping that that would go with cam like the camel pants. But could go in with jeans, could go with anything. And then just a couple of black basic tees. And again, $5 each on all these tops. $2.98 for the tank. $5 for the pajamas and $16.94 for the camel pants. So some great buys. I'm going to try a few things on. I'm not going to bother trying on all the uh, basic tees because that would that would probably be pretty boring for you. But I, I am going to try the capris on and I'm going to try the uh, jeans on. Fingers crossed that they fit and I'll be right back. And I'm back with the capris. I know, it just doesn't seem like that belongs in the same sentence that Nancy has capris on. First she got those crop pants a couple of weeks ago and now she's wearing capris. So, don't know what's up with that, but they are so soft, uh, so comfortable. And for $5.92, I think they're a great buy. Uh, let me know what you think about these. If it's something that you, I could wear out in public, maybe when I go home to see my girls in a couple of weeks. Or if I should maybe just keep them maybe for around the house or an extra pair of pajamas. So, and I've got just paired it with one of the uh, black uh, v-neck t-shirts that I got from Walmart as well. This one was $5 or maybe just under $5 at $4.98, something like that. And of course, it's got this nice V that I like so that I can show off some Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski jewelry. It's got a nice length on it. It's got a little bit of ruching right here at the side. Not sure if that's coming out. It's got a good length. And so this is what Nancy looks like with capris. So, and it's got some uh, white slip-on sneakers. So I got these to, to wear. So I always have, seem to be the ones that get stuck, pulled out a lot at the airport. So it's easy to get these shoes off, get them back on. So anyway, let me know what you think about this, if this is something worth keeping or if I should just uh, either return them or just wear them for pajamas. And I will be right back with the camo jeans. Alrighty, and I am back with the Jordache, the uh, camo pants. They were $16.94 and another $5 tank. I think this one was the Time and True from uh, Walmart. So again, great, great prices. I took me forever to agree that I wanted to even try camo pants and I got some last year and I just love them. And I think I only got to wear them about three, maybe four times at the most and now they don't fit anymore. So looking forward to a uh, new pair of jeans that I can wear. Um, got a mixture, I'm not really sure what size I am, so I got a mixture on the different uh, shirts that I got from Walmart. So I got some smalls, some mediums, and some larges. And depending on whether it was um, the from the junior line, those ones I picked a large, and from the other ones I got like a small and smalls and mediums. And they, they all seem to fit different ways. The larges are a little big, but not big enough that I would want to worry about taking them back or exchanging them and uh, being caught and they may end up shrinking a little bit anyway, so they'll be perfect. Uh, the jeans that I got are size six. I think they're a little tight in the legs, but uh, they fit good around the waist and the hips. So I think those are keepers. So let me know your thoughts on these. And of course I got my 
Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski on still. Not sure if you're supposed to wear jewelry and out with camo, so let me know about that. All right, so I just tied this for a knot just to kind of show the fit. Again, like it's tight in here, but I'm still exercising, so I think that should be okay. And this one, it was a medium. I think I've got plenty of room. I definitely wouldn't want to size down in this. I wouldn't want to size up. It's a nice soft tank. Very comfortable. Got a good length. And for the pants, they did come rolled. That you can see, it's a little bit shorter on this side, but they do uh, fold down, and that's the length that I like. So whether I wore it, probably not with uh, white white sneakers, but uh, right now I've just got my camo pumps on. But I think um, closer to the fall, um, the camo boots I have would look nice. I got some gray sandals that I think would look nice with this, or. Maybe I need a pair of green sneakers or maybe camo sneakers. What do you think about that? So again, my items from Wally World. I think they had some great buys there. I'm happy with the purchases that I made. And um, just want to give a shout out and say thank you to everyone. And thanks for Tiffy Sue Loves Fashion uh, to, for picking out those capris that you got in one of your videos a couple of videos ago. And you just look so stinking cute in them that I had to give them a try for myself. I don't look cute like you do in them, but I do love them. They are soft and comfortable. So I just need to know your thoughts on those, if it's something that I could wear out in public or not. And also just wanted to thank anyone and everyone who bought from my Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski, my Facebook party or YouTube party, whatever it was. I ended up getting some nice hostess gifts, so I'm going to be ordering those soon and hope to be able to show them in some of my next uh, upcoming unboxings. So I did end up getting about $130 in free jewelry. I got three half off items and one 70% off item. So thank you everyone that purchased and I hope that you love the items that you bought. Don't know how you could not love what you got because I've just loved everything that I've got so far from them. So anyway, if I'm going to leave Belinda's information, my Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski consultant, I'm, I'll leave her information below. And if any of you wanted to contact her to have your own Facebook party or YouTube party, uh, the hostess prizes are great. It's well worth a chance. Um, especially it doesn't cost you anything to have the party and if people buy from you, you get free stuff. So that's pretty awesome. And if I know about it, you know that I'm going to buy something from you. So you know you at least have one customer to buy from your party. So anyway, I want to thank everyone for joining me tonight. I hope everyone goes out and enjoys the rest of the weekend. And we will chat again soon. Bye-bye, everyone.